Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the cosmic microwave background and the axis of evil. What I have here is an electromagnetic frequency detector. It's detecting frequencies in the ranges of microwaves. For example, you can see here that we see a peak right around 2.4 gigahertz. That's from the Wi-Fi in my house. But you can see in these different ranges that it's not at zero. There's kind of this background microwave radiation going on. So let's go far out in the forest and see if we still get this background microwave radiation. So out here, we still have background microwave radiation somehow. So it turns out that no matter where we go on Earth, we always measure this background microwave radiation hitting us. But where is it coming from? The sky. When this was first discovered, scientists made telescopes that used, instead of visible light, microwaves, and they mapped out the whole sky. So remember, we're on Earth looking up at the sky. So if you want to map out the whole sky and lay it on a flat surface to look at, you have to do a projection like this. So initially scientists found that this cosmic microwave background radiation was completely isotropic, meaning there weren't any differences in any part of the sky that you looked at. Now later on when they got better instruments, they found out that it wasn't quite isotropic, meaning that there were slight fluctuations in it and it looked more like this. But the actual differences in the peaks and valleys on this map is still only one part in 100,000. So it's extremely uniform even though there are some slight fluctuations. So where did this all come from? Why is there this almost completely uniform cosmic microwave background radiation completely everywhere around us? Almost 14 billion years ago, our universe started with a Big Bang. Now usually when you see the Big Bang described, you see it from some external view and you see the universe expanding like this as it grew in time. But that's misleading because the universe is everything physical that exists. And so you can't have an external view of the universe. Everything that exists physically is inside the universe by definition. Now what's interesting is that our universe has always been infinite, even since the beginning. So if you could somehow view the universe inside of it 13.5 billion years ago, you wouldn't view it as a smaller universe, it's always been infinite. But what you would view it as is more dense. And here's where the cosmic microwave background radiation comes in. Right after the Big Bang happened, the entire universe was filled with a hot, dense plasma. So dense that no light could get through it whatsoever. But eventually, as the universe expanded, that gas became less and less dense, until eventually, light could start to pass through it. So what would it look like for you to suddenly have everything that used to be opaque be able to let light pass through? So let's say you were this magic astronaut that existed back when there was this hot, dense plasma. You wouldn't be able to see anything because it's opaque. But when the plasma suddenly became transparent, it's not like all around you you'd be able to suddenly see everything because the light takes a certain amount of time to reach your eyeballs. So what it would look like instead is this growing sphere of transparency with hot, dense plasma on the outside of it. And the sphere would move away from you at the speed of light. So after around four years, it would be around four light years away from you. After 14 billion years, it would be around 14 billion light years away from you. But because the universe continues to expand, after 14 billion years, it would actually be around 45 billion light years away from you. And so what this all means is that no matter where we look around us in space, we see this background microwave radiation. But why is it microwave radiation? Didn't I say it was a hot, dense plasma? Well, yes, it was a hot, dense plasma, but because the universe has expanded so much, by the time it reached us, it had stretched out those light waves and it had stretched them out so much that instead of being in the really high frequency range, now they're in the really low frequency range in the microwave range. So the result of that is that no matter where we look, we see this shell of microwave radiation around us. Electromagnetic frequencies like this can be correlated to a temperature. And what we find is that the temperature of the upper right hand side is a little bit hotter than the lower left hand side. Now this occurs because our solar system is moving through space relative to the cosmic microwave background radiation. But here's where it gets interesting. If you increase the contrast even further and you subtract out the dipole, then you see another pattern called the quadrupole that looks like this. And then if you increase contrast even further, you find another pattern called the octopole that looks like this. Both the quadrupole and the octopole modes have an unexplained alignment with each other and with the ecliptic plane and equinox. And this plane is called the axis of evil. Now the reason they call it the axis of evil because it threatens to destroy all of modern cosmology as it stands. So it looks like the entire universe has a special directionality to it. 
and it aligns exactly with the plane of our solar system. Now this seems to violate the Copernican principle, which states that Earth and our solar system isn't anything special in the universe. We're not the center of the universe and nothing revolves around us at all. It's just that we happen to be one little piece of a giant infinite universe. But then we find this in the cosmic background radiation. It seems that everything is pointing to how our Earth is orbiting around the sun. Now this is really weird. There shouldn't be any relation from the cosmic background radiation that happened 13.5 billion years ago and how our Earth is currently orbiting around the sun. Now there's basically three reasons why this could happen. The first reason is that our entire idea of the cosmic microwave background radiation is wrong and all of modern cosmology is wrong as well. The second reason could be that all of our current measurements of the cosmic microwave background radiation are wrong. There's a lot of filtering that goes on when we try to make these maps of the microwave background. Now granted, these measurements have been done lots of times through lots of different time periods using lots of different models, and they all show the same thing. And the third reason is maybe the Copernican principle is actually wrong. It could be that our Earth does have some special place in the universe. Does everything in the entire universe revolve around what happens on the Earth? Now take your choice of which of one of these sounds most absurd. Most scientists choose the second choice. There's something wrong with the data. But so far we haven't been able to find anything wrong with the data. And that's why this remains a mystery to the current day. We don't know why there are these patterns that happen to line up exactly with the ecliptic plane of our solar system. And that's why it's called the axis of evil. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is my second channel where I do videos similar to this one, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.